Hello brothers and sisters, this is Sister Zakani. Today I have a few revelations the Lord has given me. Okay, first of all, I'm going to tell you about a dream I had two days ago. So in this dream, I dreamt that I was in my old house. And uh, as I was in our old house, like this house where we grew up, um, when we were young, uh, I was in my bedroom. And uh, I remember I, I put on a dress, like a white dress, a very beautiful dress. And uh, I was just looking at this dress and just thinking to myself, well, the person who made this dress must really be good. I mean, because the dress was like fitting me really, really nice and really perfect. I mean, it was a beautiful, really beautiful summer dress, white in color. And it didn't have any stain or wrinkles, anything like that. Very, very exquisite. And um, and then I remember thinking out loud, I said, you know, um, I got to go to work. For some reason, we were going back to work, and I needed to take that dress out because I didn't want that dress to be dirty. So I started taking the dress out, off, you know, as I was taking the dress off, I was taking the dress off very carefully because I didn't want to stain it, you know, you know, or you know, wrinkle or anything like that. So I, I took the dress out very carefully, and then I was putting on my work clothes, just regular clothes. And then I woke up and I started asking myself, I says, Lord, is this, are you trying to say that we're going to be here for some time again? Because it's like I had the white dress on and then I'm putting some more white clothes, you know, are we still here for some time? And this is about the same day that the Lord gave my sister the dream about the, uh, the time that, you know, at 1230, we're going to be gone. But the Lord was trying to tell me in the stream that no, you know, it's not like he's increasing any time because that. The night before, I was talking to my sister about, um, you know, how the Bible it talks about extending the time. You know, they shorten, not extending, but shortening the time. So the Lord has already shortened that time. You know, you know, we would have already been gone, but He was speaking to me about how, you know, the elect, we've already, it's already, the time has already been shortened, and we're already living in that moment. So now is about the time that He's supposed to come and take His bride home. And um, so we are. We will go home, just like in the in the in a you know in the dream. Um, I'm at home, at my old home, and with this dress is symbolizing that the marriage, uh, the marriage supper of them, this white dress, the marriage supper will probably take place first. You know, it will take place first, and then after that, then we have to come back to go do more work. That's what the Lord was saying in this dream. So that was exciting because it says we are at home, we are home, heavenly home, but we have to come back and you know finish the task that the Lord has is going to give us. You know, he's going to pretty pretty much give us tasks to do. But we know that he's going to empower us to fulfill the task. You know, just the same same thing he was speaking to my sister about the three, three raptures and you know, we have to help with those raptures because those are harvest. So we have to help with the harvest. Okay, so that was that. And then yesterday, I remember I had a very, very beautiful dream. I, in this dream, I was so excited. I knew it was about the rapture. But I was so excited. And uh, I woke up. I knew that the, a lot of the material in the dream, the Lord had uh, hidden it from me. I could only remember a little bit. And there was this morning. He, he talked to me about a game and uh, something about number three. And I didn't even know that there's an NBA game happening this week or anything like that. Um, but he, he he actually said in the dream something about a game, and I could see you know it was like like a, like a like here you know in a whatever you call this. Sorry, my brain is so tired <laughs> today. I can't even think straight. In, I guess, auditorium or basketball court, or court. Yeah, I guess basketball court. Um, So, I dreamt that, you know, there was a game. This game, people people will be playing. When something about the rapture and the game. But I remember, you know, like a lot of the material has been hidden. And I wanted so much to remember, you know, a lot of the material was hidden. And, um, you know, it was hidden from me. And uh, all I remember was those two things, the game and number three. I don't know why I do remember that, but number three. 
And I'm at work, so I went to work, and it's it's been a very tiring day, a very stressful day for me. The devil just came and attacked me in a in a very powerful way today. So saints, pray for me. Uh, continue praying for our whole family. Just uh, I wasn't really expecting that, but he is a rolling out lion out there. I mean, we're still here on earth, and he's still trying to attack us. But we know that we are victorious in him. I mean, no weapon formed against us shall prosper. We are victorious in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So, um, so my sister was here praying. As she was praying, the Lord spoke to her and said, the end game has begun. And she, she had, I don't even know if this was the time I spoke to her about the Lord showing me a game. But he spoke to her and said, the end game has begun. So the end game has begun. And she went over and searched, you know, the NBA finals. And she, long and behold, the NBA, NBA finals are playing today. It says Golden State Warriors versus, versus uh, the Cleveland Caval Cavaliers. And this is the game six. This is, I guess, game six. This is the NBA finals. We know that the Warriors are winning, but uh, if they lose something about, they might have another play, maybe one more play. Uh, so we, we will be praying that, you know, all things go in God's timing and God's order because the Lord is speaking through this game here. Clearly, he is telling a lot of people about this game. So I went over and Googled about the logo. The logo of uh, Golden State, and you can see clearly it's a gate. It's a it's a golden bridge. It's a it's a bridge itself, you know, because you can see here this bridge here, this yellow bridge, and we know bridge yellow is symbolizing here pure uh, I guess eternity something like that maybe. Blue you know blue is um, those who are into colors, but I know this is all the colors of the Lord here: white, blue, and gold. Uh, those are all the colors of the Lord and the saints. So, and then also I'm looking at those things. One, two, three. I don't know, but this is all, this is like a gate here. It's a symbol of the gate. It's a symbol for the warriors. It's a golden state warriors, golden gate warriors, golden gate warriors. So I went and I looked, you know, I just said, you know, I need to find, um, let's see. I need to look, and it says here it was founded in 1946, and it's in Philadelphia. Church, that's the Church of Philadelphia right there. Church of Philadelphia. This is where these uh, Golden State Warriors are from. Um, Church of Philadelphia. So the Lord is speaking to us through this game. He's saying that Church of Philadelphia, get ready. Time is up. We know we need. It's t about time to cross over this gate and this bridge here. That's what the Lord is saying. Another thing he showed me about uh, the Cleveland Cavaliers. Cavaliers, there is uh, the red ball and the arrow here. They're all coming. This is the arrow of the Lord. It's coming. You know, it's going to be any minute, any moment. And this is the judgment that's coming. You know, as we go up also, the judgment comes down. So it is the arrow and the ball. Uh, I don't know if it's a stone, it might be an asteroid or a comet, whatever it is, but it is a judgment of the Lord here coming down. Judgment of the Lord. And down here, this is another symbol. This is another symbol. It says all in. And the, we, we know all white and yellow and blue, all saints are in. Okay? All saints are in. That's what it's symbolizing there. All saints are in. So time is up. Time is up. So the Lord took me to Psalm 18, and I'm going to start from verse 19. It says, Open for me the gates of the righteous. I will enter and give thanks to the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord through which the righteous may enter. Which gate is that? The golden gate. The golden gate. The righteous may enter through the golden gate. That's what the Lord is saying. The righteous may enter through the golden gate. And, um, okay, this is it. It says, this is the gate of the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord through which the righteous may enter. I will give, I will give you thanks for you answered me. You have become my salvation. The stone the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. The Lord has done this, and it is marvelous in our eyes. The Lord has done it this very day. Let us rejoice today and be glad. 
Lord, save us. Lord, grant us success. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. From the house of the Lord, we bless you. Um, the Lord is good. The Lord is God, and He has made His light shine on us with bowls in hand. Join in the festal procession up to the horns of the altar. Hallelujah! We are marching in. That's what the Lord is saying. We are marching in to the horn of the altar. You are my God. I will praise you. You are my God. I will exalt you. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His love endures for forever. Praise the Lord. He is good. Saints, we know that this is the Lord. This, the Lord is saying this is the gate of the Lord through which the righteous may enter. The Lord is God and he is going to fulfill all the prophecies that he has given to his prophets. Okay, and this is the time. The Lord says this is the time. This is the gate. Watch. Watch, the Lord is speaking through this game. He is speaking. We might not know the day or the hour, you know, but the Lord clearly is saying that this is the gate of the Lord through which the righteous may enter. Time is up, and this is the NBA Finals. This is their finals. This is the last game, or it might be they might be playing one more game. Who knows? We don't know that, but only the Lord knows. Uh, we are not here very long, saints. We are not very here very long. Do not look to September. You might be surprised. You know, the Lord says the church of Philadelphia, go ahead, go ahead. He has given us a, a green light. This is the uh, gate of the Lord. This is the gate. This is, this is the gate. Go in, go in, march in. Fisto procession, go in. He says, join in the Fisto procession up to the horns of the altar because that is where we're going to the throne room of God. That's where we're going since Mount Zion. Or okay. And also, I just wanted also to talk about this storm here coming. The Lord has spoken to us a lot about the storm. He says, when the storm reaches the uh, the coast, not the coastal, but it reaches the land, you know, it's kind of like um, that will be the start point of the Great Tribulation. And we know this, this storm here, Bill, um, yeah, a lot is happening. It's a lot of flooding. A lot of flooding is happening with this storm, and it is coming from Texas. The Lord has shown us a lot about Texas, and I think this is a storm the Lord was talking about. Uh, a lot of people has been seeing storms, and um, this is the storm. That's what the Lord is saying. You know, saints, time's up. We're excited. Even though the devil might come with, with us one way, remember, those who are in us are more than those who are outside. Okay, so we know that we've got angels on our side. We've got Mike, Michael and Gabriel and all hosts of angels. We are there with us, you know. So we, we are not fearful of whatever the devil might throw us. To us, we know we are victorious in him. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We are victorious in him. And we're going to conquer him soon. Our, our Redeemer shall appear. Our Redeemer shall reunite with us. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We give you thanks, Lord. We praise you for you are good. You know, your word, your love endures forever. In Jesus' name, I bless you all. Together, we'll be soon here together. Very, very soon, we're gonna be we're gonna be together very, very soon. Time is up, saints. I can't stress this enough. You know, the Lord is speaking to us every day. Every day, He's speaking to us. So be blessed. Be ex be just get ready. Get your oils full, full. You know, get your houses in order, forgive one another, be quick to forgive, repent all the time. You know, all these things are petty, all these, all the little things are, you don't want them to stop you. You know, like Rosh was showing me, carefully put on, put on the dress and carefully, also it might mean carefully, uh, Guard your garments and almost guard the garments that no one should take it from you or stain it or wrinkle it or even the crown. Guard it that no one can steal it from you. Okay, we're almost there, guys. We love you. Uh, we're excited to meet you up there very, very soon. In Jesus' name, I love you all. Amen. <music>